It's the Dora Delicious Show. Our show. Και να καλωσορίσω στην παρέα μου, The Miss Global Citizen, που είναι πραγματικά Global Citizen, Patricia Kumbakisaka. Kumbakisaka, did I say that right? Ναι, σωστά. Correct, yes. Patricia, welcome to the Dora Delicious Show. Πόσο παγκόσμια είσαι. You're everywhere. <laughs> Uh, Lipon, um, I will tell you a little bit about myself. Yes. Uh, Melene Patricia, ke genitica sti Romania, ke meta otan imuna tria chronon, meta comisa sti nafina elada, ke ezisa iki efta chronia. I gonismu dulepsan uh, metis diplomates, itani diplomates, yato uh, imastan se poles hores. Και στην Ελλάδα εκεί έχω πάει δημοτικό σχολείο, γι' αυτό ξέρω ακόμα τα ελληνικά μου και... Είμαστε πάρα πολύ καλά. Ευχαριστώ. Προσπαθώ να να μιλάω κάθε μέρα με τους φίλους μου εκεί στην Ελλάδα και στους Έλληνες εδώ στο Οτάβα που μένω. Ναι, και μετά μετακομίσαμε στο Καναδά όταν ήμουν 10 χρονών και εγώ τώρα είμαι στην Οτάβα και δουλεύω με την κυβέρνηση εδώ, καναδική κυβέρνηση και ελπίζω σε λίγο και εγώ θα γίνω διπλωμάτη. Μπορεί να είμαι στην Ελλάδα, δεν ξέρουμε. Ευχόμαστε πραγματικά τα καλύτερα. Και να πούμε ότι η οικογένειά σου έχει καταγωγή από το Κόγκο, but you've never been to Κόγκο, right? Correct. I've never been to the DRC and I hope to go there someday. So, as is in Ελλάδα, 7 χρόνια, like... How do, how do you feel that has affected your growth? Γιατί έτσι τα παιδικά σου χρόνια και αυτά τα χρόνια είναι που σε δημιουργούν, σε καλλιεργούν σαν άνθρωπο. So how do you think that influenced you? Well, uh, growing up in Greece was definitely a really neat experience um, because I was there, like I'm not an only child, I have two older siblings, so we were all, you know, there in Greece, we all went to school. My siblings are a little bit older than me, so they did their high school in Greece, but I did my elementary school. But you were the baby. I was the baby, yes. Himuna pio mikrula. Ke afta ta chronia ta neta kalitera chronia mu na na sa spovalitia sti nelada. It was the best years um, because I'm thankful that my, you know, family put us in Greek school instead of English or French school because most of the diplomat kids that's where they went to school uh, the culture a little bit και μιλάς πολλές γλώσσες έτσι Πατρίσια μου ναι μιλάω γαλλικά αγγλικά Ελληνικά, of course, uh, Swahili, Lingala, and Romanian. Yes. Νομίζω ότι yeah. the government of Canada would be, not, πώς το πω, would not be considered if they don't make you a diplomat of this, <laughs> given all this background that you have. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Yes, uh, it was a very good experience growing up in Greece. I, I have to say it was, like I mentioned, my best childhood experience and learning the culture It was very good learning the language. I know how, you know, the people talk, the culture, the food especially. Greek food is my favorite food in the whole world. Κάνεις και πεινάω τώρα στα μάτα. Α, συγνώμη και εγώ πεινάω. Νομίζω θα φτιάξω σουβλάκια μετά. Θα δούμε. Και πες μου λίγο, Ελλάδα πας. Ναι, ναι, πάω. Ήμουν εκεί στον Οκτώβριο μέχρι Νοέμβριο για διακοπές και... Είδα κάποιους φίλους εκεί και ελπίζω θα ξαναπάω ε, αυτή τη χρόνια. Θα δούμε πώς θα είναι τα πράγματα το καλοκαίρι. Αλλά πάω κάποιες φορές, ναι. How do people react when you start speaking Greek when they least expect it? <laughs> What's the reaction usually? Shocked, you know, because they don't expect that. Like, I don't, obviously, I don't look Greek. And the, the reaction is always like, μιλάς ελληνικά, πώς μιλάς ελληνικά. It's always like that. And... I just remember when I was in Greece a couple of years ago too for my friend's wedding in Kalamata, I would speak to the people and they were just, you know, very amazed. They would ask me, how did, how did you learn? Like, 
like they were just very shocked but I tend to find Greek people are very happy when I speak their language it makes them feel very like wow our language is really spreading around the world which is a good thing yeah and Greek language is beautiful language and it's what the ancient Greeks used to say, used to say you're a citizen of the world and ah. you are that aspect of it. Λοιπόν, πάμε να ακούσουμε εμεί ένα τραγουδάκι και επανερχόμαστε εδώ στην παρελθόν μου στο The Relation Show with Miss Global Citizen να μιλήσουμε για τη ζωή σου τώρα, your work with the UN. I'm excited to find out more about you εδώ παρελθόν του Relation Show. Και πε μου, because you've done a lot of work in foreign affairs and diplomacy at UN, what has been one of your favorite experiences? Um, I would say the work I've done uh, with you and youth in Romania. So I was there in 2016, um, representing Canada, you know, working with um, various government sectors in the Eastern Europe, Balkan region. So that was a really neat experience for me because I went back to the country where I was born in. And it was nice to, you know, reuse work in Romanian language and also mostly English it was because we had people from other parts of the world who were also there. So just having the ability to represent our nation, um, Canada in various different countries. And just um, last year I was the Canadian ambassador at the UN Youth Assembly. So. Uh, that was another very interesting experience because I was there with a delegation that I had with me and a small team and it was, um, yeah, it was really good experience to, you know, be able to talk internationally to people in various different countries as well. What do you say Chifachi? Chifachi, da, da, yes. So I was born with Vlachica, my father was talking about Vlachica. Μπορώ να συνδυάζω κάποιε λέξει. Ναι, ναι. και όλα αυτά. Ναι. Τώρα, are you involved with the Greek communities here in Canada? Um, so I, like I moved to Ottawa not too long ago, so I'm still getting to know the Greek community here. However, when I lived in Winnipeg, I was very, very involved with the Greek community. Like a bunch of my friends would invite me to their events. Um, so I went to the Ecospende Martiu event, uh, Ecosi Octo Rio event. So it was um, it was very neat. And in Winnipeg, there's a festival called Poklorama. So the Greek community has um, their festival called the Greek Pavilion, where they demonstrate the Greek culture, the dance, the food. So I would also attend that as well and support the community. But for the community in Ottawa here, I'm still getting to know everyone since I'm still new and hopefully I'll, you know, get to be more involved as well. Θα σε ακούσουν και από την εκπομπή να σου πω ελληνικό φαγητό μαγειρεύεις. Ναι, μαγειρεύω ελληνικό φαγητό. Μου αρέσει πάρα πολύ. Κάποιες φορές φτιάξω σουβλάκια. Mm-hmm. Ακόμα πρέπει να φτιάξω παστίτσιο. Αυτό... Λοιπόν, όταν το φτιάξεις θα μας το πεις και να έρθουμε να φάμε και εμείς παρεούλα. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Πάντα, πάντα. Μπορείτε να έρθετε όταν θέλετε. <laughs> Κανένα <laughs> πρόβλημα. Εμείς να σου ευχηθούμε τα καλύτερα. Thank you for sharing your story. I think it's so interesting to see people from all over the world to embody Greek heritage. So, σε όλους που μας ακούνε, τι έχεις να πεις για την Ελλάδα και την εμπειρία σου στην Ελλάδα. Ελλάδα. Ελλάδα is like my second home. You know, it's Actually, I would say it's like my first home. Επειδή είναι εκεί, όταν μετακόμισα στην Ελλάδα, ήμουνα τρεις χρονών. Ήμουνα πολύ μικρή. Και Ρωμανία, ναι, γεννήθηκα εκεί, έζησα τρεις χρόνια, αλλά δεν θυμάμαι πολύ τη Ρωμανία, επειδή ήμουνα πολύ μικρή. Η Ελλάδα θυμάμαι πάντα. Θυμάμαι, ξέρω καλύτερα τη γλώσσα, θυμάμαι τη χώρα, πολύ όμορφη χώρα, Πολύ, πολύ ωραία άνθρωποι, πολύ ευγενικοί άνθρωποι, οι Έλληνες. Uh, the best food, <laughs> the very best food. And, you know, Greece is just um, a country that will always be in my heart forever. That, you know, I feel like when I go to Greece, νιώθω σαν είμαι στη χώρα μου. You know, I feel like it's also part of my country as well, because it's where I, I grew up and it's where, you know, I made the most friends when I was a kid. 
Πόσο χαίρομαι για τι όμορφε εμπειρίε σου και σου έχουμε πραγματικά μία μέρα να γίνει η Καναδή διπλωμάτη στην Ελλάδα για να περνά ακόμα καλύτερα. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, Ντόρα. Στο τρίζα μου, σου ευχόμαστε τα καλύτερα. Stay in touch, περιμένω ακόμα το παστίτσιο, έτσι. Εντάξει, μάλιστα, ναι.